back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome! My name is Leah. Today's video is part of a collaboration, and it's hosted by Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life. And in this collab, everyone is going to be making their favorite recipes from cookbooks. So, I will have Tamara's channel and the playlist of everyone else in this collaboration linked in the description box below. So as soon as you're done watching this video, make sure you go down and check out Tamara's channel and the playlist and watch it next. If you're coming over from the playlist, hello, my name is Leah. I like to do shopping hauls and cooking videos and unboxings and if any of that is, seems interesting to you, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. In today's video, I'm going to be making a recipe from this cookbook that I have right here. It's the Fix It and Forget It cookbook. It is full of slow cooker recipes. I have been cooking out of this cookbook for years and I just thought I would share y'all with y'all a recipe today that is really easy. It's a turkey recipe and it's from this cookbook. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to be making this easy and delicious turkey breast from this cookbook and it is really truly easy and delicious and I'm gonna be cooking that up in my slow cooker and you can actually make up this recipe ahead of time and freeze it for Thanksgiving or whenever you're ready to eat it like I'm going to do or you could make this the morning of Thanksgiving and have it for Thanksgiving so if you're looking for an easy and delicious alternative to making a whole turkey this recipe is for you so let's get to cooking. Okay, so this recipe is super easy. The first thing I'm gonna put in is this whole cranberry sauce. I'm just gonna put the whole thing in there. Get it in there pretty easy. So I'm gonna put that whole can right into my crock pot. The next thing I'm going to put in is a package of Lipton onion soup mix. Put that right in. And for my liquid, I'm going to do a half of a cup of orange juice. Just going to put that right in there. And pepper, I'm going to put a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now I'm going to whisk all this in before I put the turkey in. Now this is whole cranberry sauce, so it's gonna be a little lumpy like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is put in these two turkey tenderloins. Now these are turkey breast tenderloins and they were very easy for me to find in my Walmart. And now I'm going to just cover the turkey breast in the mixture. And my recipe says to cook this on low for six to eight hours. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I set mine for six hours on low and I'm gonna check it in six hours. So I do believe that this is ready early. It's been five hours and the turkey seemed like it was falling apart a little bit. So I believe the recipe in my cookbook is a little bit too long for this turkey tenderloin. So I would say only put this tenderloin in your crock pot on low for about four hours, four to five hours. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like after five hours. I'm gonna let it sit there and cool off before I cut into it. Now I am going to cut into this and show you how it just falls apart. 
just like that. And I'm going to take a little taste of this and see how it tastes. Get a little bit of that juice. This is so delicious. And it's and it does not taste like your typical Thanksgiving turkey. This would be delicious with dressing. Mmm. It is so tender. This recipe is definitely a keeper, and I hope you all make it real soon. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and don't forget to check my description box and go check out Tamara's channel at Southern Wife Everyday Life and check out the playlist with all of the other cookbook recipes and see what everyone else is making. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Can't wait to see y'all back. Have a wonderful day. Bye.